Morning, morning, guys. I'm Tony, and this is Farm Business. Today I'm in Molo, the outskirts of Molo town. We are at a farm called uh, Marinda's Farm. Here they focus on uh, breeding sheep, and I'm bringing you along. I hope we learn together. <laughs> Zikigia kama ni watoto munarusha ije Watoto wanarusha wa inje I have a breed called Corridel. Corridel is also very good in wool and good in meat. Uh, in terms of body score, it scores heavily. It's far much better in terms of meat as opposed to the other breed you find there called Romney. Maybe the distinguishing factor is the way the wool is. Eh? The wool for a Corridel, the wool for a Corridel, has what we call the staples, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, I this. Maybe I can demonstrate and you see what's the difference, eh? When we are doing the grading of the wool. Staples are these lines. Yeah? They may seem to be marginal, but... And the, the, the wool of the corridor is a bit coarse. Mm -hmm. You realize when you, know, you are dealing with the Romney, mm -hmm. it is a bit soft. Okay. Yeah. Even from an imaginary, yani, once you see it, you, know, you will see as if it is something hard to touch. Mm -hmm. But it has a quality wool, mm -hmm. and it can give up to around two kilos wool. Per year? You, in fact, you should do it twice in a year. Twice in a year. Yeah. But now because of the process, uh, challenge of the meat, I mean uh, of the market, you realize that it uh, becomes very uneconomical to do it twice per year. Okay. Yeah, but if the market was allowing that, mm -hmm. confidently you can do it. So those are the characteristics of the corridor. Mm -hmm. the, the mouth, eh, the muzzle eh, mm -hmm. is whitish. <coughs> is it popular uh, in, in Kenya? Yes. Yes, in fact, if I have a farm, in fact, in Nyandarwa, they are there. Mm -hmm. In uh, Timau, we have present, they are present there. Mm -hmm. And these are some areas of tipis, eh? Okay. Masai land, eh? Yes. Yes. But they are Again, as, uh, they concentrate in the uh, cold areas, the cold high altitude areas. zone. High, high altitude. Yes, because now you see the, 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 the wool content. Mm -hmm. They cannot work now there in an area that is hot. Temperatures will be giving them the stress. Okay. Again, now it comes as a challenge during the rainy season. Mm -hmm. Because when it is rained on, it carries a lot of water yes. from this wool. Mm. Yeah. But uh, it's a good breed. It's considered to be a heavy feeder. It's a, he uh, it's a heavy feeder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a heavy feeder. So that could be a limiting factor to many farmers, especially in the. Uh, not really. Mm. Not really because uh, for a, 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 an ordinary farmer, you'll not be having hard rates. Mm -hmm. This is something that can give money in terms of body score. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because now, by the end of the day, the mukurima will be after, the, the, the animal will be bought in terms of weight. Yes. So if you have a smaller animal that has no weight, you don't expect the farmer, the farmer to, to fetch any money. 
as opposed to a, a breed called Merino, mm -hmm. which is a, about a very small in body size. Mm -hmm. And so now when you compare the two, this one would score higher. Yes. Okay. Now we have the, the Hampshire Down. Eh? Yes. Typical Hampshire Down is, it has a, a face that is black, mm -hmm. and even the socks are black. Okay. But the wool is whitish. The wool is whitish. And basically, uh, what is not known about the Hampshire Down is that being a dual purpose, the meat content with Hampshire is far much better as opposed to that one of Adopa. Why? It does not have fat deposit mm -hmm. along the muscles. Okay? okay? So despite the weight, mm -hmm. the animal will be having the meat content. Yes. You know, at the times we may slaughter Adopa and then people wonder, Tutakura nini yota inaka mafuta. Yeah? This uh, is a different. And that is why those people who tasted the moro lamb, eh? mm -hmm. they always people will always move from Nairobi to Moro to come and consume the moro lamb. Moro lamb. Because one, it is very tasty. Number two, sweet meat, and the meat has no fat content. Okay. Good. We now move to uh, the other breed of uh, the breed of the Romney mass. Eh? Yes. Romneys. The same, it is whitish, eh? mm -hmm. but uh, uh, on considering it, this one is close to the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is not raised. Okay. Ah, okay. The wool content is also high, very. Mm -hmm. And now, when you come, to see, you watch now the staples here, mm -hmm. is a bit different. The zikopana. Maybe at least you can feel now, you can be able to see the difference of the staples, eh? Yes. And again, it contains now the ranolin, eh? Mafuta. Mm -hmm. It has the ranolin in the wool. So if by chance my people were shearing, eh? Mm -hmm. By the end of the day, their clothes will be f uh, full of fat because of that content of ra ranolin. Okay. Yes. It is, it is very common with this breed of Romnemas. How is uh, the meat? The meat content is also good, mm -hmm. but now this one is heavily on wool. Oh, okay. Yeah. In terms of uh, body mass, mm -hmm. uh, what you'd have expected, if these animals, we, sh we shear it, mm -hmm. you realize that <coughs> the body score now seems to be very small mm -hmm. as opposed to the other breeds. And but uh, again, mm -hmm. it also depends with where, how well are you feeding your animals. Because you can see there are some romnes that we were tagging here, mm -hmm. that we had sheared them during the show. Eh? Mm -hmm. And you can see now at least, yeah, you can be able to identify the meat content in it. So oh. it all depends on how the farmer is going to, to feed these animals. How is the lambing uh, percentages? Yeah, we can say we are good. Mm -hmm. We are aging to around 90 to 95 percent. Okay. Yes. Which one is the highest? The highest is the Hampshire's. Hampshire's? Of course, it has to be higher because the population is also, mm -hmm. is also high. Okay. In fact, the one that we have seen, uh, they are so in labbing, mm -hmm. are the Corridor. Corridor. Yes. And but the, since it was not a breed for us for a long time, mm -hmm. something that we are trying to come up with, mm -hmm. eventually, even with it's the, the one that we have the smallest portion, eh? mm -hmm. in terms of population. But uh, our target is that you get to around 500 or so mm -hmm. with time. It's time. And I know we are going to make it. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Uh -huh. Time of the Wazungu. Uh -huh. And then, when the farmers were left, they did interbreeding. So the breed came to extinct. Now the ministry came up with a procedure of uh -huh. preserving the specific gene pool. Okay. For sure, if you remember when you were doing the GHC, yes. and you are, there was something that was said, Sheep farming in Moro, yeah. and this was the so-called the Moro lamb, okay. which is now called the Hampshire Down. Hampshire Down. Yes. So when we are selecting now, mm -hmm. we want to select the the, the males uh -huh. that we shall sell to the farmers yes. for breeding. For breeding purposes. For breeding purposes. Okay. Among the three categories, uh -huh. then in the midst, either by chance or by accident, uh -huh. the animals may have interbred. Uh, uh, within the specific three breeds okay. so if we have any interbreed mm -hmm. we shall sell it as car and recommended for farmers as for meat not for breeding purposes yes. and that one will be marked red mm -hmm. meaning it is for slaughter yes so when we are selecting one mm -hmm. we have to consider the animal in terms of uh, age mm -hmm. we do aging by dentation we also consider whether the testicles are complete you know, we have some cases of critokid when you have only one testicle. 
-hmm. that one cannot be a good animal for breeding. Then we shall also select for horns. Okay. If the animal is horned, again we recommend it for car, for slaughter. Okay. Why? The males, at times when they have horns, they tend to become so dangerous, eh? okay. and it will be a very unsafe even to the farmer. So that is why we are selecting for that. Yes. Yes. So the breed used to be uh, dual purpose, both for wool and. Uh, it is even up to the, It is dual purpose, wool mm -hmm. and meat. Oh, so you still have market for wool? Wool, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are selling. Okay. Uh, for the last two years, the, the, the market, since Corona, mm -hmm. the market has gone down. In fact, we almost burnt the wool somewhere here. Mm -hmm. But of rate, mm -hmm. last year we managed to sell at uh, 60 shillings per kilo. Okay. And we believe even this time we are going to get a sale. Earlier on, we used to sell even 200 shillings per kilo. A kilo. Yes. Even uh, there was a time we had gone up to 240. Yeah. But uh, we believe that the market is going to change. Yes. And maybe eventually things will be well. To improve it. Uh, yes, things will improve. Yes. So uh, there may be a farmer watching and uh, thinking. Mm -hmm. So you, you're going to call. Yes. How can I be able to buy? and uh, what you're selling, what you can Like I told you, I think I had told you earlier on, eh? mm -hmm. yeah, this is a government property. Yes. And government property has procedures for sale. Yes. You cannot just wake up in the morning uh -huh. and tell the farmer, these animals are ready for sale. Yes. You cannot. There has to be a procedure. And the procedure starts with what we are doing today. Mm -hmm. So after the selection, mm -hmm. and once we get back to the office, we are going to write a letter mm -hmm. to the PS, requesting to convene a board of survey. Mm -hmm. In the, during that meeting, the board will come up with a pricing, yeah, the reserve price for the animals. Mm -hmm. Then from there, we shall wait until now we get an authority to sell from the PS. Okay. That time now, we will be able to move on. Okay. So and that's why we are telling our farmers, eh? mm -hmm. mostly by first, second week of December, mm -hmm. the animals may be ready for sale. May be ready for yes. sale. And uh, the mode of selling is normally what we call the, we sell by tethers, eh? Okay. I mean, not really tether, it's a auction, a auction. Public, auction. public auction. But you see now, mm -hmm. it's so challenging mm -hmm. to, to do auctioning for the breeding animals. Mm -hmm. This animal has been bought so expensively. If the government is buying an animal at 60,000, mm -hmm. and then we come, we auction them at a price of 20,000, mm -hmm. all of them will end up in the hearts of the butchers. So mm -hmm. the purpose of the government will not be met. Yes. Because now, what the government had intended to do was to reach out to the farmers. Yes. You see, when we talk of a male, eh? mm -hmm. male is the whole frock. Yes. And uh, the intention of the government is that, uh, one, the farmer may be having a female, mm -hmm. not necessarily from a, a very good breed. Mm -hmm. But once you give you a superior breed, yes. you are going to improve and you'll be somewhere. Improve with yes. And that is why we say the government is not meant to make profit. Mm -hmm. Instead, is to make the animals available mm -hmm. and affordable to the, to the farmers. Awesome. Yes. Thank you. So uh, you're encouraging farmers that are interested in uh, breeding the mm. Hampshire down? Yes, they may visit mm -hmm. us. Yes. What there is, I know is that I may not have enough. Yes. But we have some few farmers who are also, we have trained other farmers mm -hmm. and we have helped them to manage their farms. And at least from them, we can also get some meals because we may not afford for the time being. The demand is so high. Mm -hmm. Yes. What's up, Gauko? You know what I eat when I eat a KGs? Cafe was eight. It was 78. Right, you'll be having around 85, eh? Can I get about one attack? So, Mr. Mongi, yes. first of all, mm -hmm. a big congratulations for the awards. Yes. Uh, the just concluded International Nairobi International Trade Fair. Trade Fair, yes. Yeah, seven awards is not a, it's not a joke. Yeah, sure, sure, that sure. That means you're doing a, a, a wonderful job. And I say it is not me. Yeah. It is we. 
it is a team because we, we work as a team mm -hmm. yeah despite the few number that were in the show mm -hmm. when you are kuwa background you are going uh -huh. Because our success here is teamwork, mm -hmm. and that's one that is what has made us to go to this far. Yes, yes. So we embrace teamwork. <coughs> when you you you're running a farm with a, a herd of over 500 yes uh, sheep. Yes. So how do you control in breeding, considering that you mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're producing good. for both good uh, good good breeders uh -huh. and uh, mutton? I get your question, mm -hmm. and I want to answer you this way. Mm -hmm. The key thing is we have a breeding season. We don't, we don't just meet any time. So we select for mating. Mm -hmm. And during the selection, the corridor are mated with the corridor. Romney's mated with Romney. And Hamsha mated with the Hamshas. Mm -hmm. So we have several of the houses here. Mm -hmm. And so what my herders do is keeping close examination to make sure that there's no uh, an intruder into the frock. And again, like I said, uh, Right now, the males have gone to graze towards the other river on this head. Mm -hmm. The females will go to the other head. They will not meet. Because once they get out from the grazing, mm -hmm. they have a paddock where they will stay in that head. Mm -hmm. And ours, then you have another paddock to stay here. So the issue of mixing may be accidental. That one, I can congratulate my team mm -hmm. because we highly, highly, highly try to maintain that. Yes. So and that's a success anyway. Yeah. Yes. Uh, they say a, a ram is half the, the flock. Sure. Yes. And that's why they're saying the concept of the government is very easy. Mm -hmm. Is that they assume this young upcoming farmer mm -hmm. has a, 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 a sheep. Regardless is whichever breed, which breed. Because even if you tell the farmers to identify the breed when you are conazo, they even don't know. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But now, from that female that you have, mm -hmm. come to us, we give you a superior male. You are done. You get half of the frock, and so you are going to make it. We can never overemphasize on uh, the importance of uh, superior genetics. Yes. From my experience at the farm, I can see how you've been able to multiply. Sure, 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 uh, sure. Within a very short period. Sup superior breed, mm -hmm. and that's why when we are telling the farmers that we have the superior breed, it's not a joke. You see, the government cannot put all its resources mm -hmm. to a farm. Unesa jiuliza asa kwa nini serikali na subuka na kodo. Yeah, but of late, you know, we had we, are, we had an agreement with the the government of the Emirates eh, that you're supposed to be giving this the Muslim community mm -hmm. meat. Yes. You see now, where will this meat come from? So we want to embrace our farmers. Yes. Let them do the sheep production, mm -hmm. and this will assure bet. Yes, because if you get an animal that is uh, labbing twice a year, mm -hmm. within our frog, uh, within five years time, mm -hmm. you will definitely become with a frog even bigger than mine. Yes. I believe individuals can do even better than the government. Well, yes, because mm -hmm. it does of policy making. Mm -hmm. And they are all they are the bureaucracies, eh? yes. You know? But here at least we we would encourage the farmers to, to try it and see. So the, one of the major uh, challenges yes. the, your average fa farmer in the village is facing mm -hmm. is information. Yes. Yeah. Why? Because mm -hmm. uh, they don't want to get information. Mm -hmm. And you see, information is power. Yes. And information is very expensive, mm -hmm. and you have to go for it. Yes. Being here, mm -hmm. you may be surprised that very few farmers from this locality come to buy animals here, mm -hmm. or even to run. Yes. And we are here to train them for free. You yes. can be surprised. Mm -hmm. We sell the animals throughout the country, mm -hmm. but the, about 90% mm -hmm. goes outside Nakuru County. Mm -hmm. From our uh, gate there, there are no restrictions. Yes. If you say you want to come and run, mm -hmm. Even the, the guards will escort you to the office. Yes. yes. So you're encouraging... We would encourage them, them to come. Yes. Surprisingly, apart from the issue of the ships. See, I've told you now we have a pirate ramia. Yeah, yeah. We see. even have a, a potato production. Yes. They don't even want to know why the car of potato yes. are producing uh, about 50 bags yeah. per acre. Mm -hmm. At the end of them, mm -hmm. they are doing 20 or even 15. Yes. Okay? Yes. And even learning here will be free. To me, I would say these people, they, is, uh, they need a change of an attitude. Eh? Yes. Yeah. And that's why we are telling them they should not carry their eggs in one basket. Yes. Yeah? The truth is this. In terms of monetary purposes, eh, mm -hmm. there are some uh, issues of money mm -hmm. that would allow you to sell a hen. Mm -hmm. Others would allow you to sell a, a sheep. Mm -hmm. Others would allow you to sell a goat. Yes. And even a, a cow. Mm -hmm. 
But you see now, if somebody was in need of 10,000, mm -hmm. why do you have to expect to give out a cow? Surely. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? And the sheep can score up to around 15,000. So we would like them to evaluate. Mm -hmm. They, and they, they do their mathematics right. Mm -hmm. You see? So your system mm -hmm. here is uh, successful. Obviously, you running a few hundreds of acres. So would, do you think this kind of uh, operation would be equally successful in a smaller piece of land? Yes, like excellent. Five acres? <laughs> excellent. Yeah. I want to say this. Eh? Mm -hmm. If these animals are browsers, I mean, are grazers, eh? mm -hmm. if it does, it matter. Even if you don't have, a, you have a portion of even an acre. Why? The key thing is, do you have a store to keep your forage? Mm -hmm. Do you preserve your forage? You know what we are realized in these farmers of this area. Okay. Once they harvest the maize, mm -hmm. yes. so what will happen? Most of it will be waste. Mm -hmm. Even to, to make the matter where somebody will put up on fire, you put on a fire, na choma. So now. If somebody was wise enough, mm -hmm. you would have preserved that forage eh? and it will help you in the days when it will be dry. Yeah. So me, I would encourage somebody. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. if you have a, such a house here mm -hmm. that can carry about 300 animals, eh? you can still do it even in a quota nika. The only thing is, eh? mm -hmm. where am I sourcing my forage? Yes. And you see now, these days, we have farmers who are entrepreneuring in hay production. So you just need to buy and come up with a store. Simple. In fact, for sure, these animals, they don't need this green material. Yes. It's only that we have it now in plenty. Yes. They do very well mm -hmm. in the dry pastures. Okay. Yes. And that's why we, in our pastures here, we do, we have the roads. Mm -hmm. Bomber roads. Bomber roads. Eh? Mm -hmm. We have the, the oat. Mm -hmm. Oat, we use it in two forms. Eh? Mm -hmm. the, the hay, mm -hmm. and also we mill the oat seeds whereby now the animals are fed with the oatmeal. Okay. And it is very rich in protein and crude, crude fiber, yeah. which is very good for the digestion of these animals. Again, we are doing the potato and the, the maize, the fodder maize. Again, in this area, we have a, a specific variety of grass called rye. Mm -hmm. It does here naturally. In fact, to us it is a weed, but to me it is a scope. Yeah. Because, once I put people to cut down that lie on the maize folders, eh, mm -hmm. I'll be able even to bear it. And then it and my animals will consume. So what I'm saying is that uh, a farmer mm -hmm. who is able to work and buy the haze, mm -hmm. he is able to perform. So it performed better. Yes. You to me, I don't uh, believe in that. The uh, Lazima uh, Ukwena had the decas. Yeah. Where will you get them? Uh, yes. It's where? 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 Possible. Where? Yes. It cannot. It is not possible. Yeah. Yes, but that one is not a limiting factor too yes. for you to produce. <coughs> mm. Yes. But with that kind of a system, you'll have to supplement with the... Of course. Okay. Why? That's why I'm saying, mm. if you have done maize, mm -hmm. you'll be able to get a supplement from maize jam. Yes. If you are doing oat, you mill the, 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 the seeds, mm -hmm. you get a oaty meal. Yes. What does the farmer require? Also have Surely, that. yes. Eh? Me, I challenge them on laziness. Uh -huh. oh, do you know... Uh, there was a time uh, we were buying a frock and we happened to visit uh, a certain Maasai in, in Oretipis. Eh? Mm -hmm. We bought eight animals from him mm -hmm. at a price of 13,000 per one. You can see the mathematics. Yes. We, left, we left the gentleman with 1.2 million. Okay? Yes. Something very interesting. Because personally I did the selection of the eight animals, mm -hmm. I was selecting in the midst of a group of 600. Okay? Yes. And at that time, the farmer had 2,500 flock of sheep. Can you imagine? Are you milking your daily goods? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, not for the purpose of sale of anything. Okay. It's for them. They, they had us, that's the milk they take. Eh? Okay. But of course, I also limit them. Uh -huh. Because I don't want it to affect the, the kids. Yeah. 
Wasikose maziwa ya kunyonya. Okay. Mm. So there will be none in the auctions this year. Yeah. There'll we have none. none. Of, eh? We are, we don't have a a female here that is old age or uh, you know. Okay. Yes. Water. Yes. Mineral leak. Mm -hmm. There has to be a drip term mm -hmm. for them to to leak on. And the other thing is that uh, here we do vaccinate against nest enterotoxemia, mm -hmm. which is called parapekidine. Yes. We vaccinate against nest foot and mouth. Mm -hmm. We vaccinate against contagious caprine pleuronymonia and against PPR. Those are the major conditions. Eh? Okay. Apart from now, during the, the rainy season, eh? mm -hmm. when the, the pastures are watery, mm -hmm. we have some cases of brood. Okay. And of course, when the, there's now a lot of water flooding, mm -hmm. issues of foot rot, we are to na pabana sana. Of late, we have found also a condition called off. It's also turning up on the on the ship. And this is when you are being trained off was for the for the goats. Okay. It is happening. Things are changing. Yes. But uh, routine management, vaccinations programs, mm -hmm. we do them. So you you have a vet in house. We are the vets. We are the vets. Yes. Yeah. Personally, I'm a vet. Uh -huh. Yes. I'm a vet, I'm a meat inspector, I'm a nutritionist. You see now? Yes. She's also a nutritionist. Yes. Yes. She's a nutritionist. Uh -huh. Like I said, uh, she's working with us. Yes. We also have another vet there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. And oh. you see, she's a Duchagui Kazi. Kerubo. Kerubo, yes. yes. Kerubo, yes. <laughs> a Duchagui Kazi. Yes. You see, for you to work in a farm, mm -hmm. you must have a passion. Yes. If you don't have passion for animals, mm -hmm. you will have to work. Yeah. And you must be ready to work. Yes. We are lactating. Now we are going to have a toto. We are going to And that's why we have said we are not going to select on them. Because we are going to have a toto. Hadi wenye wako aggressive wanataka kwenda na mama kukura but normally watoto wanaacha hapa the mothers zinakuja tu zinanyonyesha zikitoka malishoni eh bali kwa sababu body scores not bad despite them being being sagos you know kama hiyo ah me grow mzuri sana to mwanza Ingetuwa pada utawa na there are so many. Akuna watoto ingi de. Daudi kujia mushike hizi apa mugo juu amugu. Silo you give them dexa jet. That combination of that tracycline eh. Na mwangali yao moja kama. Wala damu sisi dexa jet eh. Muda gari ya kama kuna ni ni uza adam. All these are less than a month old. One month. One month. Wow. Less than a month old. It's lambing season. They, they, they plan the lambing season so that they're able to control uh, okay. breeding. Vesri, who are you? Hey. Ngari are you? We train farmers, eh? Yes. In form of groups yes. or even individuals. Yes. And our training here is for free. Okay. That's yes. impressive. If only they come here. Yes. But if it has to go, mm -hmm. 
then of course it will attract some charges eh? okay and because we don't want to have a conflict with the guys in the extension eh? okay. we would prefer the groups to come in you know from here they will be able to run a lot okay from within yes yes and we also build some demonstrations for them okay yes so in order for people to come and uh, learn mm -hmm. they'll need obviously to make arrangements with you yes and uh, is it okay if i share their, your number yes, yes. my number has no contacts. problem it's 0719 mm -hmm. 456-896. Mm -hmm. Yes. my name, the farm manager. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you. This is a government farm. Yes. And people should enjoy. New to me, I would rather the, hope that the farmers get the, to know the concept. Yes. Because in the government is where you have the technical cracks. Yeah. Who are ready to serve you yeah. freely. Yes. If it was in a, in a private farm, mm -hmm. the entrants would have been paid. Yes. Ugeri mm pakwaza -hmm. dioingie. Yes. I can hear you. you yeah. Just make a call. We just make a call, and then we make arrangement with you. Yes. We have no problem. Asante, Asante, yes. Thank you.